Hey everybody, Space Cat here. And the other day somebody asked me about spawning enemies for a platformer. And I wanted to show you a really cool way to spawn enemies and kind of place them wherever you'd want in the level. Because generally, I mean, if you want an enemy to move around, you want it to be a sprite, right? You could also make the enemy a tile, uh, but you can't really move it back and forth. And so you usually want it to be a sprite. And to place a sprite, You'll have to use a sprite command and tell it to draw a sprite at a certain X and Y coordinate. And you'd have to kind of look that up and it'd be kind of annoying to do that for every enemy that you want to add to your level, especially if you're designing a game with several different levels. And so this is a really cool kind of intuitive way to place your enemies. And here's how it works. We have an enemy placement tile. So this is tile eight and I can put the enemy wherever I want. So I can put him right here. And then if I save and run, he turns into a real enemy and we can animate him and everything. So this is a sprite that we can actually move and animate. Y'all people don't believe me. See, there he goes. So there's our enemy sprite and he actually goes and does something, right? Let's have him go a little slower so we can at least see him. So yeah, there he's moving, okay? And this all starts with just placing our guy here. We could even place multiples, save, run and they all get replaced by sprites and animate. So how are we doing this silliness? Well, first of all, we have to set this up. We have kind of a placement sprite here, which can be anything. You just got to remember the number. And then we have the actual sprite and I've kind of made this so we can animate it. I just haven't animated it in this video yet. So where does the magic happen? Well, let's look at our code here. As far as the sprites go in our init, we have a table that we're setting up at the very beginning called enemies, and it's just a blank table. Then we're calling something called spawn enemies, which I'll get into in a second. But for every frame, we're going to loop through all of the enemies in the table, and we're going to add 0.1 to their X value. I have this listed as EX just to be less confusing with some stuff later. So it's pushing all the enemy sprites to the right every frame. During our draw, we clear the screen, we do our map, and then we draw the enemy sprites, which just loops through our enemies and draws the sprite with the enemy's sprite, its X value, and its Y value. Okay, so pretty simple. We're just looping through the enemies and updating them and drawing them, okay? The magic happens during spawn enemies, which we're calling at the very beginning after we set up our enemies table, and it looks like this. This is just a for loop, and we're going from zero to 15, which happens to be the number of tiles on our screen, starting with tile zero, all the way over to tile 15 on the x-axis, and same thing on the y-axis, zero to 15. And so we're essentially looping through this entire screen when we start, and we're searching for this sprite, sprite eight. So for the x-axis and the y-axis, if m get, which gets the sprite that is placed in each tile, if that equals eight, then we're gonna do something. We're going to add an enemy to our enemies. It's gonna have an x value and a y value and a sprite value. The x is going to be x times eight because this number is going to be the tile on x and the tile on y, and they're eight pixel tiles, and so that will place this sprite exactly where that tile is. So we set the X and the Y and the sprite. Then we set that same tile to blank. We set it to our first sprite, this one right here. So we're, essentially we're going through and looking for this tile right here. And then anytime we find it, we're gonna replace this with this kind of blank background tile. And then we're gonna put this sprite over it as an actual sprite and not a tile. And so this is very handy because you can place these wherever you want. So let's see, I want an enemy down here, I want one down here, here, save run. And that's where all of my enemies start. Very intuitive. So now I don't have to type in any numbers or anything like that. They just appear right where I place them. Pretty cool, right? And then of course you want to do some AI for your enemies and have them move and react to things and everything like that. If you want to see a video about that, let me know in the comments. If you're brand new to game development and you're like, gosh, man, this is, this is crazy. I don't even know how to do any of this. Well, I have a course that goes over the basics of making your own games in Pico 8 and we make our own platformer and we learn all of the foundations and everything you need to know to be able to start making your own games and enter game jams and make games for your friends and all of that kind of cool stuff. There's a link in the description below or you can go to spacecatdev.com. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little, little tidbit and I hope your day is not full of enemies in real life, but full of friends.